Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a database reactivation workflow or a database reactivation campaign in high level. So let's just get started by going to automation and I should have a folder called database reactivation created already in this. Um, if not, we can create one and call it database reactivation. Okay, cool. And we will go to this folder and create our workflow. So the plan is to send four emails uh, on four days. And these will be sent like today, tomorrow, next day, and the fourth day. So this is the plan. Let me create a workflow and name it database reactivation workflow. Uh, this workflow will actually send the emails and let's see how I create it. This is the exact strategy I have been following to create database reactivation campaigns for different clients. So hopefully this will work for you as well. So the first thing is in the workflow, we won't have any triggers because uh, we're going to manually import the list of contacts and add them to this workflow. That's why we don't need uh, any any initial trigger. So that's how I have set it up. And I'm going to start by uh, I'm going to start by adding something called drip. So drip means I'm not sending all emails at once. Instead, I'm sending uh, it in drip mode in batches. And the batch size could be 100, could be 200 based on how much warmed up your email uh, is. So I'm, I'm going with 100 emails every every 30 minutes. So I'm calling it 100 by 30 because 100 emails every 30 minutes. So that's the drip mode and this is going to be my first email, right? So I'm calling it email one. I'm keeping prom name from email blank for now. And I have, I've written just a four day email sequence for a tree service company. Uh, you know, just to give you guys an example, that's all. And so if I come over here, copy and paste everything and change some of the stuff using custom values. Um, so this is going to be our first email, right? So they're actually offering 10% off for uh, previous customers. That's the offer in this one. So uh, we are keeping from name from email blank. And after hitting save, I'm going to go to settings. And here in from name, I'm saying Justin justin at distance free service and i'm not sending it in any specific time or if you want to you just can send them from 9 a.m to 5 p.m or 7 p.m whatever uh works best for you really and it should be sent in account time zone and re-entry could be on could be off doesn't matter but don't uh you know stop on response this needs to be off right okay so we're gonna hit, hit save for our configuration and now as we've sent already email one what we are gonna do is we are gonna come over here and wait how long are we waiting so we are waiting for not a specific time but we are waiting for the contact to reply to email one so this is the trigger we are using here. Wait for contact to reply to email one for one day. Otherwise, if you don't give it a timeout, it's going to stay here forever until the contact replies. And let's be honest, most of them are not going to reply to the email one. It's all about follow ups, guys. So you have to give it a timeout of one day. Again, we are waiting for one day for contact to reply. We are waiting for contact reply to email one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check if condition replied. This is the condition. And we're going to check if the reply is positive. So how do we check if it's positive? We are going to go to contact reply from here. And we're going to say intent type is positive so high level is going to check if the reply contains any positive words like interested you know uh yes yeah sure you know 
all those stuff so it, it actually automatically checks if the message intent is positive we are going to add another branch saying other than positive so now in this branch we are going to check again contact reply intent type is not positive so the first one we are going to check if it's positive the second one we're going to check if it's other than positive anything other than positive and we're not going to add any branches anymore so now what happens is we are sending email one waiting for one day to reply if they reply and if their reply is positive it's going to go here if it's other than positive it's going to go here and if they don't reply they're going to go to this branch called none so now if the reply is positive we are going to send them an email saying uh, thanks for your interest uh hey thank you for your interest in 10 percent of uh, offer something you know uh i'm gonna okay this is the email we're sending as a reply to uh uh you know the, the contacts positive interest and again we are keeping from name from email blank because we've already configured it in the settings section uh okay so sending email this is the reply email and now we're going to send a notification to if you are the client yourself or if you have a client to your client. So um, we are sending a not notification as an email from name from email could be uh, your CRM. So CRM. CRM dot my CRM dot com. This is going to be your CRMs. You know, you are a email or whatever. Uh, we are going to say here. Contact dot name showed interest in your offer right so you're gonna say this person has showed interest in your offer uh, so this is gonna be hey this contact has showed positive interest name email that's all so in name we're gonna give it contact dot full name in email we're gonna give it contact dot email thanks okay so this is the notification uh sent notification to client and so you have to select the user as well so just select any particular user or if you want to send it to uh clients clients email this is going to be the client's email uh you're sending the notification to so what we're doing is reply positive and maybe wait for half minute because yeah just so it doesn't sound robotic okay so waiting 30 seconds if it's positive replying to that email and sending a notification to the client is what we're doing here now also if it's anything other than positive we are going to just send a notification to the client so i'll copy this notification from here and uh we are saying that has replied okay cool has replied here we are going to just go to custom values or custom fields message body okay so th this is going to be replaced by whatever the contact replied this is going to be the email body and just so the client is aware what the reply was if it's negative if it's any other inquiry as a message you know all those things now hit save email one and everything related to uh handling this re reply done now we are gonna come over here copy this email one copy action and we are calling this one email two we've already waited for a day and if the person has not replied we're gonna send them email to no wait needed here okay now email to what actually we're doing is we are writing another email here and just uh copy this copy this stuff from here and now we are gonna write down right cool so this is going to be just a demo uh email guys don't worry about it so this is the email too right and now we are going to basically check 
or one day to reply and if they replied and all these things we are going to do all over again right so we're going to copy this from here we're going to say copy all actions from here and paste and come over here to one day to reply and reply to here you're going to select email to because you're now you're not waiting for email one anymore you're waiting for email two. so now let's let's look at the flow email to sent waiting for one day to reply to email to if they replied positive do all these things other than positive do all these and if it's none what we're gonna do is we're gonna send email three and email three is gonna be the day three email right so i'm gonna copy this from here paste it um and just format this the best way possible just use some custom fields that's your email three right cool uh, save it again copy this from here from the wait step uh, wait step and paste it here and now in wait one day you're actually waiting for email three instead of email two right so again send email three wait for one day to reply to email three if they reply positive this happens if it's other than positive client gets a notification uh with along with the context reply if it's none or if it's not uh there was no reply send email four all right cool and now again just uh copy all actions from here paste it here now wait one day to reply should be email four instead of email three now again send email four wait for one day to reply replied positive this happens if it's other than positive this happens if it's none nothing happens this time because we are sending four emails and that's all that's all we are doing if it's not uh if there's no reply we're just gonna leave it or you can do other stuff like adding to, adding them to an abandoned pipeline moving them to uh like an abandoned status or something you know if they ghost you uh the typical the typical stuff you do so it starts from here um you know email one email two email three email four everything gets done perfectly now we are going to just copy the drip from here to here so we are before we are sending email to we are actually adding a drip action just so you don't get blacklisted or anything and the same stuff we are going to do for email three and copy this again same stuff we are doing for email four so that's i would say that's a pretty good database reactivation workflow and once you're done you just need to publish and upload the list of contacts and add all those contacts to this workflow because when you're uploading the contact list they're going to ask you if you want them to add to any workflow so just add them to this one and one tip about database reactivation is i've, I've seen a lot of people make making this mistake if it's a new account they go for like thousands of contacts at the same time don't do this just break your list into small segments like if it's a 10,000 list uh, you just break it into 1,000, 10, 1,000 lists. Even though we are using drip mode, but yeah, just just to play safe. That's all, guys. So I hope this video helps, and uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe and maybe press the bell icon as well if you wanna get notified for any new videos I upload three or four times a week. So yeah, hopefully this video helps. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.